Guten Tag collectors! So today we have a new Porsche to add to my collection. It's made by Kyosho and it's the Porsche Cayenne Turbo, the very first generation which is available back in 2002 and I think it ran up until 2010 before the a newer one came out. Uh, this was actually the first Porsche with four doors. I never knew that. But before I talk further about that, let's take a look at this box because I don't think I've ever seen this before. This is Porsche collection number two and it cost four dollars back when it was sold in 2006 so that's a that gives us an idea about the pricing and let's definitely take a look at this because I don't have most of these things uh, I do have a this I only have two of these and now three so I, eventually you'll see more videos of me getting all these other ones I know this one's super expensive though maybe I won't get that one okay well interesting interesting to see uh, so it's a typical Kyosho blister so it comes in a blister pack it's screwed to this base and it comes with this information card uh, we got a, choices of V6, V8 this is, uh, being the turbo model, is a 4.5 liter V8 making around 450 horsepower. And uh, here are the colorways. I know that uh, V8 is twin turbocharged as well, and that's what allows this beast to get uh, 0 to 60 in around 5.3 seconds. So, this also being the, the turbo also has a low range transfer case, uh, locking differential, and height adjustable off road suspension. Alright, so let's compare here. When this car first, well, when this truck or SUV first came out, I thought this is a super ugly vehicle. It's blasphemy for Porsche to create an SUV. And uh, looking at it now, I think it's an ugly vehicle. I don't know if it's blasphemy because clearly they sell a lot of these things. I see these things everywhere. So people do seem to love these things. People just want to be riding up high, I guess, even if it means they're looking in a a strange looking Porsche. The rear end doesn't look so bad to me. It doesn't really bother me. The front end is just weird looking though. Okay, but honestly, looking at this rear end, it doesn't really look like a premium vehicle either. It looks like it could just be a Japanese SUV. What do you guys think? Hmm. Okay, well, anyways, you compared the photos. If you love this uh, SUV, maybe you can make a decision based off those comparisons. But I really got this because uh, it is a significant part of uh, history because it's like one of the first premium car manufacturers to put out an SUV. And now everyone has one. You know, even Lamborghini, that's one of the last companies I would have thought to have an SUV, but they have it. Okay, well anyways, let's get into, get into this review here. So we got a nice metallic gold here. Um, and then we got some silver on these protruding door handles. A little fuel filler door. Panel gap seam, all right. Nothing too, too wrong there. These wheels definitely look accurate to the real car photos. I mean, they look almost perfect. Uh, there's no brake system, though, because this is a blister pack that was for $4, so you can't expect brakes in a $4 casting. Uh, let's see, the windows, they seem to have black on the the plastic and then maybe silver paint on the casting. That's the impression I'm getting. Okay. Or, uh, I don't know. Is this metal here? I think it is. It's just such a thin piece of metal. Okay, no paint on the mirrors. Again, it's a $4 model. Uh, we got some white paint here for this uh, running light. Or is it a turn signal? Not sure. The headlights do look realistic, very realistic actually. It looks like there's a light bulb there and there, and then divider, and yet it's you know a surface here. So very very good job. And this Porsche crest is very good because it's not oversized. It's it looks like the right size that would be on the hood of a vehicle. Little bumps here for the wiper fluid. I'm imagining that's what those are. Uh, now this looks like it's just painted black on the casting itself, not separate pieces. Okay, down here we got some silver paints, so I think those are some fog lights or something. Alright, so it's press fit together. It's one of the 
older models, I guess, older collections, so later on Kyosho moves to screwed together bases. Decent enough detail, no complaints there. Pretty nice tires, you know, interesting little small treads. Although, maybe it should have had bigger tread blocks being an SUV that's meant to go off-road. Uh, the exhaust here, they're kind of weak though. You know, the real exhaust has silver rims around it. Would have been nice to have some silver paint on these tips here. Little dots here for those sensors, the backup sensors. Uh, that's pretty nice. The rib detail there and is painted silver for that little step plate. The text, yeah, it's pretty legible. Cayenne Turbo, there it is. And then these taillights are really nice, super thick plastic, but they molded in some lines on the backside so it looks like a reflector or something, you know? Nice detail there. Uh, raised and painted black uh, wiper blade here, and then the blackout on the window looks pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, the windows are, you know, they're molded, so super distortion. The pick is just almost vanishing from two panes of this, this molding. Oh, now I'm noticing there's a third brake light painted red there, so that's a nice little detail as well. Hmm. I'm looking at the exterior. I don't know what that is. But it's almost a flawless model. I don't see any scratches, gouges. I don't see any paint rash, which is nice. Partially probably because it's a metallic color. Now it's just some grime. Yeah, so this is actually a perfect model. I suppose that could be considered something wrong. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. But uh, it's not a glaring issue. It's at least a 99% perfect model. So that, that's nice. Okay, so what about this interior? Maybe with the tall windows, even though they're distorted, with the help of the light, we might get to see some stuff here. Yeah, we got a good old steering wheel. Mm, the center armrest, cubbies. The rear seats have some sort of texture and ribbing there. Although, what is up with that? I feel like the interior is missing parts. Yeah, that's weird. It's floating like. Right behind the front seat, there's just air, and it's going down to the base plate. So that's, this is the strangest interior I've ever seen from Kyosho. It's like the rear seat cushions just get cut off. They're just missing. Why would they do that? That's so strange. Wow, that is weird. A weird design decision. This side, airbag or something, glove box. So hold on here, I'm trying to... So that's really strange, that rear. I, I don't know why it does that. Like the middle of the floor is there, and then it just vanishes down to the bottom. So, wow, weird. Okay, and then this is a flat, blanked off uh, cover for the trunk there. Well, still, I'm at least happy. I'm more, you know, I don't really look at the interiors of models only when I do these videos. I, I don't think I've ever gone back to look at the interior of a model outside of these reviews. So I'm actually not really bothered by that weird design decision. I'm most I most importantly care does the casting look relatively like the real vehicle and then does the paint look nice. And in this case, it does in both cases. So I'm quite happy about this. Uh, let's get the spin thing out here. I'm sure most people don't take their Cayennes off-road, but since it is capable of doing so, I'm going to put it on the off-road CD today. Although I don't know why I can't get it on there. It's weird. Yeah, it's not sitting right. There it is. Okay. Okay, so all in all, I would say it's a great model. If you own a Cayenne or you love the Cayenne, you know, this is definitely up your alley. It's, it seems to be a pretty good job from uh, Kyosho this time around. Um, yeah, not much else to say. So, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. Thanks.